We're about uh, five minutes north of um, Fucking and quite sick. I haven't had a good day at all, but I thought I'd push myself this afternoon and just get out of town and at least find one of these suspension bridges and make my way over one. I see them on the internet and thought, well, can't be trying to walk over a bridge, which these are amazingly stable. I've had the flu. We walked to uh, Fucking yesterday from Lukla. I uh, did about three or four hours trekking, whatever it was. It wasn't too bad. Um, woke up this morning incredibly sick and uh, chose to let the others go on and I've stayed at Fucking. Uh, it's about four in the afternoon now. I've just been hanging around the tea house all day. I wanted to get out, so I thought at least come out and see some of the scenery. Um, and I wanted to get on one of these suspension bridges. So even if I don't make it uh, all the way back to, uh, all the way up to Nampchi Bazaar and get an Everest view, at least I've knocked one of these guys off. Uh, we crossed a smaller one the other day. We want to get to one of these bigger ones, which is quite cool. Um, this is an amazing part of the world. There's no roads anywhere. No motorized vehicles, still horses, oxes, not oxes, yaks. Um, Sherpas, Sherpas right behind me. I'll turn the camera around in a sec. I'll pan around here. Um, this guy's come across here to carry up to 140 kilos. Yeah, I said 140 kilos. I get paid big bucks to go up to base camp and beyond. Uh, scenery, this camera won't do anything for the scenery. This is just amazing. Apparently it comes in this cloudy every afternoon. Beautiful and sunny in the morning and uh, a bit crappy of an afternoon. That's okay, I'll head back across the bridge in a second. Back towards Fakting. And I uh, continue to cross. Next time will be Monjo, then uh, Namchi Bazaar. Monjo's about four hours, another two uphill to uh, Namchi, which I certainly wouldn't have been able to do today. I'll head back across the bridge now and uh, get back to the other side. We're only about 10 minutes from town. This town over there, I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, so I'm staying on the far side of those buildings. So head back over there now. I might get a little bit more footage of the river because it's pretty awesome. It's called the Milky River, as you can tell by the colour of it. Uh, all night it just sounds like surf when you're asleep, which I didn't get much sleep last night, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, it just sounds like surf in the background. There's so much water moving. Milky River, we haven't really researched that very much, so someone said calcium carbonate, I'll go with that. And all these bits of white cloth, uh, prayer flags, Buddhist prayer flags on the bridge. Uh, that have done a fair bit of time here. They let the prayers out into the wind. Let's take you back up this way again. Back up there through that valley. We, sh we can't see this. There's a couple of snow-capped peaks around here, but we can't see them right now because of the cloud. But there's one back over behind that hill there, and it's up this hill here. There's too much cloud at the moment to see them. Every single one of them you think, oh, I wonder if that's Everest, because they all kind of look like that big point that Everest got. They all kind of look a bit the same. Um, anyway, I'll check out. Oh, no. Oh, I've got cows coming across the bridge. So, yeah, Mr. Cow and me are not going to have a little conversation. I'm going to go back over this way, and uh, I'm going to let the cows come over. I'm not going to take on a couple of cows in the middle of a suspension bridge in the middle of Nepal. Well, I'm currently four hours walk. From the aeroplane, another 20 minutes drive flight to a doctor, let alone a hospital. So, um, yeah, I'll let the cows uh, have the bridge. <laughs> well, it's not really what I, what, I, what I wanted to do right now, but yeah, cows are going to win, hey? Yeah. Of course, yaks are even worse. Yaks are really cantankerous. They'll give you a bit of a push off a cliff if they have to, if you're in their way. You always uh, stand on the uphill side of a yak, never on the downhill side. Stand on the downhill side there. Just to like to give you a shove to get you out of the way, and then you're off the cliff. Okay, I'll shut you down now. I'll wait for these cows to go.